Where's the love? That's what H2 Flow's Jason Fridge Sicharan and Wayne Tim Star Christian of Spot Rushes is asking in their newly released collaboration. But they are not just singing about it, they are doing something about it. The duo have turned the single into a movement, the Where's the Love campaign, which has taken the form of concert series, charity work and interactive sessions with the nation's youth. The campaign is really about the youth and um, we using music as an alternative, you know, making them use music as the time that they, the spare time that they have, instead of going on the block line and, you know, go in the studio, write a song, learn how to make a beat. You know, we can bring a couple of kids by, by Chasu studio, see what he does, get them in a radio station. You know, you go to school every morning and hearing people on the radio, you don't know what inside a radio, radio station looks like. So we're using these guys to really educate the youth and, and tell the youth how music affected their lives and kept them out of trouble. So uh, when we went to the library and you know we had Maxima Ziggy, Spot Rushers, H2 Flow down there, um, the kids were asking, it, it, it would be surprised the kind of questions they were asking because in their minds we are not like them. You know they, they see us on TV, they don't think that we grew up in areas that they grew up in or we, we had people around us doing drugs or at some point in time we tried drugs and realized it wasn't for us. So you know that close interaction they realized that hey Fridge was just like me. Fridge came from that same area and look, look at the positive stuff that he's doing and he's doing music so maybe I could, I could do that as well too. So that, that's what we're really trying to take into the schools, you know, take, take some kids out to the schools and expose them to what we're exposed to right now and at the, at the end of the day it's music and it's music that affected our lives in a positive way. As artists, they're leading by example. Of two different groups known for two completely different genres of music, H2 Flow for R&B and Spot Rushers for Hip Hop, they have teamed up with one common purpose in mind. But how do their other group members feel? When you see Fred, you see H2 Flow, you know what I mean? I just see right now, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, H2 Flow is always part of everything I do, you know what I mean? And same thing with Tim, you know, Spot Rushers is part of the whole vibe, you know what I mean? So, Definitely, it's not what it's not what myself, it's not what Tim, it's about artists, it's about children to be. You know what I mean? It's about each two floors, it's not about each two floors, it's not about spot rushes, it's about the movement, where's your love, you know what I mean? It's not personal glory we're looking for here. Yeah. We're looking to just make that change, you know what I mean? Within the communities, within the country. They boast a cast of popular entertainers like Maximus, Ziggy Rankin, Three Canal, Cass, Fireball and Russell Leons to name just a few who are all putting aside their personal differences and agendas to join in the cause, understanding the strong influence of music on its listeners. It's not all about artists coming out to the biggest song to match up the place and it's not about that. It's about bringing the positive vibes to the people, you know what I mean? And the people enjoy it. Songs they never heard before, they still enjoy it. And the thing about it is that artists come out and do the thing for free. Nobody really you know, nobody's saying, hey, you gotta get paid to do this, you know, you know I mean, everybody giving out the time and effort because they realize there's something positive that they're trying to do them. So what has made these concerts already so popular with the people? The reality of the situation is this. Most of these artists, you have to pay three, four, five hundred dollars every year to go and see in FET. And you see them on stage and you don't really get to interact with them. Like I said before, they're in VIP, you're in front, after they perform, that's it. And I think when people saw the lineup, because there were a lot of important people there, when they saw the lineup and you kind of come and see these guys and not just see them perform, but like I say, after they perform, they go out in the crowd and mingle with the crowd. Sit down, ask questions, answer questions, because they're, they're people too. I think people, when, when they realized that was the situation, I think that's what everybody kind of, you know, latched on to. And people was telling us after they have never experienced anything like that before. You know, having all these all these these people in one place, and everybody just we are in interacting with each other, and nobody's looking down at anybody, everybody's respecting just a love.